Oh, it's a deal, Mr. Intermarket Analysis, bringing you uh, a review of the FTSE 100 and uh, going into uh, uh, Monday's trading, the uh, 3rd of January 2004. Sorry, should we say January? Uh, <laughs> it's February now, 3rd of February 2014. Okay, so um, a new month, a new start, and uh, let's see how we do. Uh, basically, I've uh, been away, I think, uh, for I think the last video I've run has been almost a week now. Uh, it's been quite some time, uh, just very busy with trading. I uh, started off my uh, new fundamental analysis service as well, where I swing trade the markets and try and explain how I do that. Obviously, at present, I'm not sending out any analysis for that, just firing out the trades, see how they do, see what the response is, and obviously, I'll try and uh, once I get around to it and uh, I organize my time efficiently with the live analysis service, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, and the fundamental analysis service, which is well, live analysis is designed for day trades, uh, using 30, 25 to 30 point stops, uh, looking to nail um, 200 points a week. Last week was a fantastic week, by the way. Uh, nailed a total of 600 uh, odd points for the week, which was amazing. Uh, obviously, live analysis service was almost 400 points, and obviously the fundamental analysis service almost uh, well more than 200. So yeah, around 650 odd points last week, which was fantastic. Uh, okay, so. And uh, that's what is going to be designed for. So day trading is more for the active individual, hence the live analysis service, which obviously falls on from the mentoring program, which I do. Uh, and obviously the fundamental analysis will be more for obviously swing trades and long term positions. OK, uh, but having said that, given the variables in the market at present uh, with regards to tapering on and off, with regards to emerging market concerns, so on and so forth, and all the different variables that are flying about at present, uh, the fundamental currents are shifting very quickly. It's very hard to get grasp on, this, on these markets. Uh, it's uh, the uh, swing trading can be quite tricky. Okay, um, so bear that in mind. Now I do. I am offering the fundamental analysis service free for all or free to all. Uh, so um, I have a WhatsApp list. So if you're comfortable with me keeping your mobile number on the WhatsApp list, then certainly WhatsApp me. Uh, you can uh, or email me if you want with your mobile number, and I'll add you as well. Uh, email is daytrader at inter-market-analysis.com. Or follow my website details are all on there and I'll certainly get you added on there hopefully once I have the ability to allocate my time efficiently between the two services and obviously my mentoring program uh, then obviously I'll um, look to start doing that in a more professional manner with analysis commentary etc etc okay just like I do the live analysis service as well uh, just for your information a live analysis service the um, the one week trial is, is there available to all uh, so if you do want a one week trial if you're a new subscriber and you want to join that for live intraday commentary and analysis then the live analysis service is there and you can certainly follow the link there's a video explaining how it all operates uh, an explanation of how I operate and uh, certainly uh, give me a shout with regards to that okay so let's get back to analysis let's see where this market's going okay um, going into obviously uh, Monday the 3rd of February uh, obviously the fundamentals okay let's have a look at the fundamentals I uh, um, Fundamentals basically right now. What are the currents? Okay, so tapering's done. Okay, we've had 10 billion tapering markets um, Obviously reacted to that overall. It has been positive reaction. Why because obviously once we come off the Kool-Aid uh, The market can stand on its own feet and the Fed has been quite uh, uh, Bullish in terms of its for growth forecasts going forward. So we're finally uh, We're finally have it. We're finally standing on our own feet. Okay, and we're finally uh, Coming off the morphine which morphine drip, which is good. Okay, um, so that's good news okay um, obviously the emerging market chaos didn't really help the Fed's decision or Fed's uh, uh, stance uh, obviously uh, a lot of individuals were hoping that the Fed the emerging market concerns would deter the Fed and cause the Fed to do a U-turn obviously that didn't transpire so we've got a strong dollar going forward obviously a strong dollar is obviously moving up with the markets now the QE effect is obviously diminished uh, and that's exactly what we're observing now. So provided the emerging market concerns subside, which I do expect them to subside this week, okay? Uh, reason being is you have a uh, potential support in now for the emerging markets. As you can see, this is the emerging markets ETF, and you are seeing stabilization in that, okay? You are into support for that, okay, as well. So just bear that in mind. Uh, so you are looking at stabilizing, looking for a potential reversal. You've got a few unfilled gaps above. Uh, any signs of intervention or... Uh, or any signs of uh, central bank support or government support uh, or the currency stabilizing etc or any strong economic data this week will obviously push this higher okay so bear that in mind okay that's one of the reasons why the Aussie's been quite quite strong as well as you know uh, people on the fundamental analysis service our swing short Aussie on a Friday it got smoked okay 
and I, I and I closed it for a reason. Uh, and obviously the Aussie reversed and, and went right back to the entry zone. So it was good that I closed it for plus 60. Otherwise, it went right back to the entry zone. There's a reason for that. Why? Because emerging markets are stabilizing here. So overall, basically, I can give you a summation of my analysis already. Uh, going forward in this week, I expect an up week. I expect the markets to recover quite a lot of the losses uh, and for the markets to move higher. So I'll explain as to why that's the case. Uh, so let's start with the FTSE 100 as we always do. Okay, so where art thou FTSE? Okay, here we go. So let's start with the weekly chart or we obviously look at the bird's eye view. Bird's eye view, as we all know, key. these are the key trend lines really that we need to focus on. Uh, and this is the one that we're looking at, this black trend line here. And the market slam dunk is into its support zone. Okay. Uh, you had a bit of a topping, bottoming tail, should I say, on the weekly chart. Held a key uh, pivot support around the 6400. And the market obviously short squeezed higher. On the daily chart, obviously you've got a bottoming tail there. Held double bottom perfectly around the 6420 level. Hence the reason why I'll swing short on a Friday. I'll swing short, oh, sorry, swing long on a Friday towards the evening. Uh, and obviously I managed to uh, gain uh, quite a lot of uh, points there as well. Hence the reason why I ended up with 365 points in the live analysis service for the week. Okay, so we've had a bottoming sale. We've had a um, uh, a market holding support. Uh, this trend line has held on a daily basis. The market failed to close below it. Uh, you've had doji and bottoming tail after bottoming tail. This is your key bottoming tail. That signifies a bottom is in. Uh, expect to move higher. Okay. Bar, obviously, that can change drastically during the week. As individuals, we have to adhere to TA, FA, and always follow the rules of intermarket analysis. But provided that there's no other additional concerns from emerging markets, provided there's no geopolitical risks, etc., etc., there are socioeconomic concerns, this market should put in a bottom and we should move higher. That's my uh, expectation. That's how I'll trade accordingly, okay? 10-minute chart. This is your key, key trend line we had up here. Okay, a uh, key trend line going down. We've broken that inverted head and shoulders pattern. Target is around 6520. You've broken out the down sloping uh, uh, channel there as well. Okay, so your resistance levels are going to be 6520 and 6535. Keep an eye on those two zones, okay, for resistance. And then obviously, how, see how this pattern emerges. But this is what I expect to happen on the 60 minute chart. The 60 minute chart, I expect this uh, down sloping wedge to obviously break out north, which it already has. Okay, the 20 MA starting to slope sideways to upwards. Uh, we come back, test this 6550 level, we create a right shoulder, bang, off we go to the races. Probably end up around the 6700 by the end of the week. Okay, that's basically my hypothetical reasoning. There's a lot of variables involved according to intermarket analysis, of which I can't elaborate all in one video. It takes a long time, but that's basically the thesis uh, of what's going to happen. Okay, uh, and obviously if you switch to our daily chart, uh, if you look at, uh, uh, just get a Fibonacci retracement from the top here to the low, which we've already just seen and witnessed. Even if you look at a 50% retracement, you're looking at 6650 level. Uh, if you go and test the previous resistance equals support around this region here, you're looking at around 6700. So 6700 will be the top for this week. Uh, as for how powerful we should expect to be reversing. And then obviously we'll trade accordingly. Okay, so uh, and that's basically what I'll be doing. If you do want access to my trades, like I said, I've been trading for seven years well, on the live analysis service. Uh, and uh, even longer than that in terms of my own personal trading. But the live analysis service, obviously, we're running for seven years uh, on average around 200 points a week, uh, also around 1,000 points a month. Uh, last week alone, 650 points. So I think that says it all. Um, so um, you're more than welcome to join my live trades, live commentary, live analysis, live trade management, etc. etc. If you want to learn on the job, then this is probably the only service out there that is unique and, and provides that insight at only just £50 a month. Okay, that's all I charge. Uh, and you can go out there, pay 10 grand, 5 grand for a course, and it'll teach you absolutely rubbish. Okay, this, some of these courses and contents of these courses absolutely appalling. Okay, so this is why I try and do it in the most cost effective way for the average individual so you can learn and trade and save yourself a hell of a lot of money. Okay, obviously, uh, if you're nailing four or 500 points a week, obviously, the court, the actual um, live analysis service is paid for anyway. And technically, I'm paying you. Uh, to trade uh, and uh, oh, I'm paying you a salary to trade from my perspective and I'm paying for your education from my perspective so that's how I see it okay uh, if I can do it in real time I can't see why anybody else can't okay if I can trade in real time observe the markets decipher the news uh, obviously cut out the noise uh, adhere to price action for what it is you know screw the indicators who cares about the indicators it's about price action okay raw price action markets telling you don't obviously superimpose your opinion on the markets. Allow it to tell you. Allow it to talk to you. Okay, so I've given you a few charts there. Just something for you to 
contemplate and, uh, and and look forward to in the week ahead and keep an eye on those resistance zone and support levels I've told okay let's have a look at the FTSE 250 now which I generally tend to do uh, it's a leading leading laggard type of thing okay so um, right so FTSE 250 obviously we've held previous resistance uh, equal support we've held this key trend line that's sloping upwards okay uh, we are creating a potential bull flag formation here so bear that in mind Okay, so inside consolidation, boom, right back to where we go above. On the weekly chart, FTSE 250, absolutely in a bullish camp, bullish mode. You can't stop this juggernaut. This is very, very strong. Obviously, previous resistance equal support has held. There's nothing stopping this from going higher, okay? 60-minute chart, obviously, uh, uh, we've held previous resistance equal support again. Um, we have got this downward sloping uh, channel uh, again, which is very similar to the FTSE 100, obviously, because they are... Very similar indices. We are looking to potentially break out here and go back and test the 200 MA, if not make a new high. Okay, so 10 minute chart. Really, it's um, we've held this support level above, below here. But look, we were creating some type of inverted head and shoulders pattern, but it certainly hasn't. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's in play. So, left shoulder here. Obviously, looking for a small right shoulder and bang off we went. Um, but even having said that, uh, really, you're looking at uh, resistance around this level here. Uh, really, uh, you've got a gap level up here, you're up 200 MA here, and we'll see exactly how uh, and how this market reacts when we come up to it. Okay, but for now, really, there's nothing that we can really say, state with regards to this in terms of price action rather than looking at the larger time frames. Okay, now also, another additional uh, indices that we can observe is the FTSE uh, 350, uh, that's an amalgamation of both, and really the top 350 companies in the UK. So, again, this is uh, breaking out bearish channel, very similar to the FTSE. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Obviously, 200 MA will be a resistance in this horizontal resistance up here. If you go to a 60 minute chart, that was a 10. Obviously, we are breaking out, looking for a breakout here again, higher. Uh, probably test this uh, double bottom, double top here, if not higher. And go to our daily chart quickly. And obviously, again, same scenario. Okay, so as you can see here, key, key support, 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 bang into support, bottoming tail, 200 MA. Off we go to the races on the upside. Okay, so. Again, bear that in mind, this is all into support. Now, I can show you more charts quickly here as well uh, with regards to its peers. Let's have a look at the German DAX. German DAX, if we quickly go to inverted head and shoulders again on the 10-minute chart, as that's the reason why, obviously, I was long Friday. Again, we've closed the, the gap level here. So, gap fill support, trend line support as hell. The market didn't close below. You've had bottoming tails. Up we go again, okay? Given the fact that the weekly chart is one hell of a juggernaut, you can't stop this juggernaut, off we go, Okay. So uh, let's have a look at another one of our colleagues. Okay, so another one of our colleagues, if you go to a daily chart, again, gap fill support. This is the Euro stocks 50, trend line support, expect a bounce. Okay, so a lot of these, uh, a lot of these European colleagues are all into support. Uh, so therefore, one has to conclude this market wants to move higher. Okay, on a technical basis, we're into uh, multiple support zones. From a fundamental perspective, obviously, we do have the uh, the concern with regards to emerging markets. So that will basically uh, be uh, shadow over the shadow above us, okay, the dark shadow, dark cloud. So obviously, that's uh, something that we all need to be uh, be wary of. So don't get me wrong, we are going to be very volatile again this week. Uh, obviously, uh, markets will be dictated to sentiment regarding emerging markets. So any type of news flow that comes out, whether it's bullish or bearish, will shift the markets drastically, okay, so bear that in mind, so the short squeezes will be powerful, and the long squeezes may well be even more powerful, okay, so uh, try and be nimble, try and get in and out quickly, again, like I said, if you want to gain access to my trades, you know my website now, into market-analysis.com, click on the live analysis tab there, you've got the fundamental analysis tab, which like I said, I am offering free for the next month or two, with regards to the live analysis service, you do get day trade but that's uh, 50 pound a month if you want a one week trial let me know obviously if you want to educate yourself you've got the mentoring program there as well again you know at the end of the day uh, would you rather trade and lose your money in terms of your trading wise and your trading account or would you rather pay and use that money wisely and pay for an education and obviously become more wiser uh, and have the ability to uh, have a higher success rate okay so these are all things obviously I put out there try and help the average individual raise a, raise your a level and your understanding uh, and I also have updated my charts as well on my website. I try and do that on a daily basis, but as you know, uh, I'm a human uh, and there's only so much I can do on a daily basis. I've got Twitter, I've got Skype, I have emails I have to answer on a daily basis with individuals with questions, etc., etc. 
then I have the mentoring programs that I run, then I do the live analysis service, I do the fundamental analysis service, then I have to do my own trading, I have to do my own reading. I'm usually I'm up at 5 a.m. doing all the reading, uh, obviously being aware of all the fundamental currents in the market, so I'm prepared, I'm ready for the week ahead. Okay, obviously I'm, I'm a family, mem family man, two kids, uh, one's a year and a half, the other one's three and a half, so they're very demanding, I'm always um, up and down and around in, in the house, obviously trying to entertain them and uh, obviously help them as well with them starting nursery soon so I have to juggle all that okay juggle all that together so I try my best as an individual obviously I've got the chat room as well which I try and maintain uh, and I'm always always a part of uh, so you have to realize uh, I am human and there's only so much I can do in a day on a day-to-day -day basis but I always try my best okay uh, so trading is for, first and foremost for me that's why I am I'm a trader so I will trade on, on, on a consistent basis as a day trader Obviously, I've started to do swing trades. or Well, I've always done swing trades, but I'm just sharing them now. So you have to bear in mind, I have to uh, obviously organize the analysis, etc. with entry exits. I have to do that in a more professional manner as well. So, okay, folks, um, as you know, my motto, risk on, risk off, wax on, wax off, and be ready for the week ahead. Okay, uh, the emerging market concerns will dominate. So watch out for those headlines. Take care. Goodbye.